Reporting in progress. Welcome back, Roman. All right. Joined by Roman Bravo Young, the national champion at 133 pounds. Congratulations, Roman. We're going to go ahead and open it up for questions for him. We'll start on the left with Zeb. Roman, first things first, congratulations. Uh, you just knocked off a world silver medalist. It didn't take overtime this year. You beat him in the NCAA finals last year. Uh, first period takedown, kind of the strength of that one, right? And then it doesn't take overtime. Yeah. In control, it felt like the whole match, right? Obviously, to get that win, knock off Dayton Fix. What's it mean for your second national title? It means everything you said to yourself. Second national title, you know, everyone knows the tournament's not easy. It's hard. And uh, two times national champ, this is, I'm living my dream every day. I never thought, looking back, mm -hmm. Where I was a kid growing up from Tucson, Arizona, I never thought I'd be in this position, wrestling in front of my family in a pretty much sold-out arena. Never thought I'd be a national champ, make that two-time national champ, but uh, came a long way, and I'm excited right now. I'm going to celebrate this for a while. Long season, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of injuries that I've uh, battled through. Got to get healed up. Other than that, I'm just excited, and uh, being fixed is tough. You guys know how good he is. World-class level, uh, and I know I'm right there with the best in the world in freestyle. I train with Thomas Gilman every day, but I just got to make that switch over at the uh, excited right now. Mark. Roman, when was the last time that you can remember you were taken down? Because I have no idea. And I follow you pretty closely. I can't remember the last time somebody took you down, which yeah, is unbelievable. Funny you said that. We keep track of everything in the season. And um, and I got I have the most takedowns on the team. And then I got taken down first match of the season. And I actually got taken down for the second time in, at Big Tens in my Purdue match. Caught me off the whistle. But I only taken down twice this year. Had almost 90 takedowns. Keep records of everything. But uh. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I pride myself. A lot of people say that uh, I stall and blah, blah, blah. But other than that, I'm just finding ways to win, and it's not easy, and uh, two-time national champ. Back right here. Roman, I know you talk, You don't know if you're coming back or not. You haven't made that announcement. you got a two-time national champ now. Do you feel like you have anything left to prove at the collegiate level? I have nothing left to prove, but uh, how about Penn State Wrestling, 2022 national team champs? What if I make that three and we can win another one? So it's definitely going to be in my mind, but... I'm not really too worried about that. If I do, if I do come back, uh, I definitely, me winning now definitely makes me want to because three sounds good, right? But might be in the moment. I gotta see if I, uh, see if I want to. You know, it's not easy. You gotta be dialed in, and uh, it's a long process. But as of right now, I'm satisfied. I feel like I don't owe anyone anything. But I graduated in May, and then uh, I think it's slow after that. From wrong All right, hi, I'm Rachel from Intermat. Tell me a little bit about your lifestyle and your training habits. What have been like the staples you think that have really helped you lead you up to this point right now? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you right now, no one works harder than me. I put in so much, I mean, that's a cliche thing, but I put in so much time. I'm running miles three times a week, do a lot of extra workouts. I work out twice a day. I don't care what day it is. The coaches kind of have to tell me I have to chill out a little bit, let my body recover, but I just never feel like I'm doing too much. And um, two-time national champ, but now, I got to be a bigger target on my back, so that means I'm only going to work a lot harder. And uh, yeah, just that. And then not only that, just, uh, just getting in the Word. I got into the Word a lot with God. I'm more at peace with myself. I don't really put pressure on myself. It's, uh, like I said earlier, it's all earthly things, but but it does feel good. <laughs> that great. Roman, I think uh, Aaron talked about yesterday, uh, Kale taking pressure off of him uh, through some spiritual things uh, in Christ. Has, do you have any kind of relationship with Kale similar to, to Aaron and how we talked about it yesterday? Yeah, I do, but we all have our own relationships, right? For me, I kind of, Kale's kind of doesn't really say too much. He kind of just doesn't like to talk, but I open him up a little bit, give him a little trash talk here and there. He's not used to it. So he doesn't really know how to approach me sometimes, and like I mess around with him, and he never, they always tell me they can't tell if I'm joking or paying attention or having fun because I never smile. If you guys know, so I never smile. But uh, yeah, me and Kale have a different kind of relationship, but he's helped me grow a lot. And, and uh, he's the best of it. It's pretty much plain and simple. His process, and anyone can say what they want, but he finds a way to get us ready at the end. Okay, time for a couple more, front left. So the name image likeness thing is something where I feel like you, Gable, and a couple other people can actually make money in wrestling in Division I. Um, if it turns into a situation where the name image likeness, uh, however your school does it, becomes more friendly for you to make money and earn on your name image and your likeness, is that probably a better chance we could see you next year? Can you? 100%, you know, if there's some Penn State donors, whatever there is, you guys get me some deals through some companies, I'll come back, no doubt. So, you know, money talks, you all just want to get paid and live a good life. But uh, like I said, I graduate, so if I'm going to come back, donors already know what to do. But other than that, uh, <laughs> that's just me talking out of excitement. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's a good chance, like I said, just going to enjoy this, play by year. I got to get healed up, you know. My thumb's jacked up real bad. I'm always taped up. I got a lot of inside injuries that no one sees that we push through. 
So I gotta get take these taken care of and other than that, just figure it out. But like I said, if I were to come back, it might not even be till next year. Roman, I know you talked about working out uh, freestyle. Is that something you wanna do in the future? Is that something you're looking forward to doing? Yeah, that's my that's my next biggest thing. You know, all I've ever wanted in NCAA wrestling was just to win one national title. This is this two is uh, is a cherry on top. You know, I just want a couple world medals, a couple tries in freestyle. I'm gonna go maybe till 2024, and then I'm gonna switch over to fighting. So other than that, I just wanna wanna make a good couple runs in uh, in freestyle because I haven't put my all like I have in folk style into freestyle. But I know I'm right there. I shaped Olympic bronze medalist, and I just beat a guy who been dominant on the world level for how long now. So I'm right there. I know I'm the best, one of the best in the world. I just gotta make it happen in freestyle and get better. I haven't grown, I don't even train freestyle anymore. So it's a different ball game. We can't be sitting on the edge like that. Last one from Doug. Roman, MMA sounds like the thing. Dominic Cruz, I think I see you training with him a lot. Is that what the training camp would be? Would you move to New Mexico? Would you move back to Arizona? Where would you be if MMA became your path? And I, I like this name image, like this thing and money talking a little bit and hopefully you know I'm the biggest advocate of you coming back, but if MMA does, is it with Dominic Cruz? Is that who you train with? Yeah, 100. percent He's my uh, he's gonna be one, my head coach. He's my mentor now. He guides me in a lot of things, a lot of emotional mindset stuff. I work with him quite a bit. You guys know him smart. He's a good businessman. He makes sure I'm on set, makes gets all my deals, makes sure everything's right. I'm not getting screwed over. He looks after me. He's a big role in my life. He's actually here. He flew out and surprised me last night. So I'm excited to share this with him. I'm gonna get him ready. I've been getting him ready for his past two fights. So we have a close relationship and that's who I'm gonna fight under, but that's not until after 2024. But other than that, I do see your tweets all the time. So you say you also want to come back. I mean, you already know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I see your tweets all the time. Thanks, man, I appreciate you. Congratulations, Thank you so much. man. Thank you appreciate guys. you joining us.